you and I tie. And that tie and that bond is the only thing that I can really leave my children with. Assalamu alaikum. This is Mohsen and this is your Ramadan Reflection. The believers are nothing else but brothers. So make good between your brothers. So alhamdulillah, for me, the beauty of family in Islam is that opportunity to have unity, to be able to teach my children uh, what I know of Islam um, and having the opportunity, alhamdulillah, to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala together and then showing the different ways that we worship Allah from what we say when we enter the house, what we say when we leave the house, what we say when we enter the bathroom, what we say when we leave the bathroom, when we sneeze, we say, Ya Allah. These small things teaching my children fills my heart in such a way that it's hard to put into words. Being the only Muslim in my family, may Allah guide my parents and my siblings, I mean, when Eid was over and prayer had finished and the mosque had emptied, if I wasn't invited anywhere, there was the end of Eid for me. And I would stay till Esr and Maghrib. And usually the massages are very empty. So it was a hard time for me, but it would make me reflect and get closer to Allah and ask Allah sincerely for a family, a beautiful wife who was knowledgeable, mashallah, and beautiful kids who are willing to follow the deen of Islam. And alhamdulillah, um, here it is now, over 15 years later, and I have five children, mashallah, and a beautiful wife. For me, there was such a warmth to have my sons beside me while I'm reading Surah Al-Fatiha to Allah and praying. It's unlike anything else, seeing your kids make sujood to Allah in front of you, um, make mistakes and play around and crawl on your back during prayer. You know, being soft with my children when they make mistakes, you know, these small things, and then afterwards correcting them and being soft. There's one thing when I think of unity, I think of breaking it down in English that you and I tie. And that tie and that bond is the only thing that I can really leave my children with. So when we talk about the Ummah, we talk about it as if it's our extended family. And that's the whole thing that for me is most important that if I love my sons, my daughters, I should treat others, sons and daughters, the same loving manner and way that I treat my own. My brothers and, and sisters in Islam the same way. Um, you know, what you, you love for yourself, you should love for your brother and your sisters in Islam. And it's that, that caring, that loving, that tenderness, being gentle with each other, not being harsh, showing each other things in a loving manner. You know, I had a beautiful example years back, there was a gentleman who um, was trying to show me how to uh, conduct myself in, in the masajid. And instead of him coming to me directly and harshly, he explained it to another brother when I was in the room and it was just the three of us. I was doing something else, but he explained it in such a way that it made me hours later reflect on my own behavior and what I was doing. And that's the beauty of Islam. Um, finding a gentle, soft, kind way to you know, correct your brothers and sisters or to guide your brothers and sisters even to compete with Quran, you know, the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu and, and know what's right from wrong and in a loving, caring way. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said, O oh, Aisha, Allah is kind and he loves kindness in all matters. This Ramadan, let us be one Ummah. We are one. Mm -hmm.